Scientists might have just discovered a Megalodon in the Mariana Trench. And scientists also discovered that Uranus smells like a fart. <laughs> no, I'm serious guys. The planet Uranus does smell like sulfur, but no, the Megalodon does not live in a Mariana Trench. It's as dead as it influences brain cells, Bruh. or is it? That's what we're gonna find out in this video. Megalodon jumps out of water. If that's a Megalodon, then I'm a Swifty. Shake it off, shake it off. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ow. Bro, that hit, what hit me in the head? Freaking Swifty hair. It's a great white shark, guys, and they do jump out the water, but I've always been curious about this. If sharks jump out the water, do they have the same feeling that we do when we jump in the water? She was a Yup, our existence is ending, as marine biologists are warning us that they found creatures depicted from the Bible the size of our continents emerging from the ocean floor, and they're angry. It's Nick Avocado. In this video, he shows a bunch of clips that talks about this massive creature called El Gran Maha, which is said to be three times bigger than the blue. Massive, unidentified sea creature caught on an oil rig camera. What? That thing looks like a pair of your grandma's underwear floating in the water. That's gross. This is a phantom jellyfish, and they do get massive, and they're pretty freaky. Ooh. Close encounter with great white shark. Yeah, man, this is not the time to be blowing bubbles. Or maybe that's not air bubbles. Bruh. These divers were definitely surprised by this great white shark. All I'm gonna say is, if that was me, that blue ocean water would turn brown. <laughs> Look how crazy this great white shark just disappears and reappears. Masters are camouflaged and eats like me when I see cake. Get in my belly! But guys, I found a Megalodon shirt. Check it out. I made this just for you. What do you think? Link in description. I think you might like them. They come in different colors. Let me know if you do. <laughs> what the heck? Ooh. That boy thick. Ooh. Look at that thing, man. That's huge. Yeah, she's laughing and waving. That's some big sperm whales. Yeah, it's all fun and games till you get pimp slapped by a whale tail. <laughs> Have you ever seen evolution happening right before Yeah, you? I just seen mankind go about 100 years backwards after watching this video. Bro claims that salmon are going through a process called evolution. Huh? Salmon actually do travel in very shallow water so they can go spawn and make more salmon. Maybe we need to spawn new mankind because people actually believe this video. Did you know manatees could do this? Do what? Drink water? I mean, everybody knows that. What the? Wow. Who knew manatees had little face hands? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that's probably the creepiest thing I've seen all week. But who's the genius that stuck the hose in the water trying to water the ocean? Bruh. What is bro feeding the ocean? Uh, that's piranhas. I ain't gonna lie though, honestly when I was younger, I thought piranhas would be a much bigger problem later on in my life. But piranhas won't even hurt you if you jump in the water, they only dead things. I kind of feel let down, honestly. Is that what I think it is? Like, is he, is he gonna just- Ryan. Did he just- Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, you better hurry up. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> Look at how beautiful that is. I just caught that with my hand, bro. Bro just casually grabbed a scrawled file fish. And if he had half a brain, he would know that that blue color means leave me alone, I'm venomous. Those things have more venom in them than a puffer fish. Hey, that thing looks just like me. I'm talking about the dude, not the fish that looks like he's guilty of a crime. That fish looks like he's got a new influencer filter. Hey, yo, chat, subscribe, chat. Hit me up, chat. This is the scariest river in all of the world, and that is because it has alligators, of course, but there's also bears and bull sharks in here, you guys. Yeah. Bear, sharks, and gators, oh my. It's like the Wizard of Oz Florida edition. Of course it's Florida, bro. He talked in this video about a bear crossing the river that was attacked by two alligators and a bear actually won. Only someone in Florida would stand next to a river when the sign says, you finna die today. Where the Amazon River meets the Atlantic Ocean. POV, what the ocean would look like if I ever did see a megalodon. You finally get to hear what a sea turtle sounds like. <laughs> Me chugging water after 3 a.m. Whoa, look how big that was. What the? That whale just swallowed those fish like I swallow french fries. Oh, that's a lot of shark. <gasps> look guys, it's a British shark. Give me a bottle of water, mate. <laughs> when your man goes swimming, but the fish get curious. Yeah, anytime I see someone jump in the ocean and then they just gonna go swimming, oh my gosh! That barracuda checked that dude out, but luckily the barracuda wasn't after him. Barracudas actually chase down bigger prey in case they drop something. I tell you what, if that barracuda came near me in the water, I'd definitely be dropping something, all right? These guys rescued this little puffer fish and they did it the right way. They set a rope around it to let it in the water since they're highly toxic. And as you can see, the little puffer fish just starts to deflate as soon as it gets in the water. Looks like a pimple popping. He's even waving goodbye to his new friends. Bye. Oh, a 
puffer fish. Yeah, it's a puffer fish. You know. I've never seen anyone so excited about a puffer fish before. Maybe they found their own species. I mean, don't influencers puff up their lips? Ew. Hey, yo, that looks like the Ningen. Or maybe it looks like me. Which one do you think scarier, me or the Ningen? Comment Dr. Noss if you think I'm scarier. Comment Ningen if you think the Ningen's scarier. Unexplained things caught on camera. This is a crazy one. They're pulling this thing up out of the sand. Like, okay. you think it would be just this little, I don't know, little ocean creature, nothing Ooh. harmful. And then all the tentacles start coming up. It has a huge body, like a big tapeworm thing living in the sand. What is It's a cuttlefish. Now this is amazing. Look at this. Cuttlefish can change their color and texture instantly. They use their color changing ability to hypnotize their prey. Okay, open water. Open ocean water always freaks me out. Are we gonna see a megalodon? Shark? What is it? Whale, I don't see anything. Whale, there is a whale. <laughs> that whale said to the other whales, hey guys, there's a camera. Hold my tail. Watch this. So this is nuts. This scuba diver actually pulls a hook out of the shark's mouth. Not all heroes wear capes. But what if that shark just wanted a lip ring and bro just violated that shark's rights? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Hey, don't run from the Lord. Where are you going? It's a Jesus fish. These divers came face to face with a doomsday fish. Doomsday fish are very rare. They're called ore fish. And they're only seen when something catastrophic is about to happen like a tsunami or an earthquake. Bro, I said it without even messing up. Because I know what I'm talking about, bro. 6.2 earthquake hits boat in Japan? <gasps> bro hooked a tectonic plate. If that me, I'd be shaking all over, not just from the earthquake. Honestly, though, to be in a water during an earthquake is probably the safest place. Until a tsunami shows up. Look at bro. He's reeling in the plate. My is heart that? is beating so fast. A cruise ship? I think that's a whale tail. Oh! It's just come up sure and is. stuck its tail up and it's not going anywhere. It's giving that guy a sign. I really thought it was a sunken cruise ship at first. It looked like it. But that whale sticking its tail out the water kind of reminds me when I was little in the swimming pool and I used to stick my legs out the water. No, it wasn't that long ago. Hey, they just threw food at that gorilla. <gasps> Whoa, bro said throw something again. This gorilla needs to stop his workout routine. Man! Oh, they threw something again. I thought bro was gonna chase him down. Eat something, bro! You know he's trying to bolt. Oh, is this drone fishing? I don't think that's a good idea, man. He got a fish! He's got a fish! How you gonna get it out? Fish one, drone zero. Bruh. What the heck? I didn't expect this. I'm not expecting this either. Is that turtles? Listen to this. Look at, check this out. All the turtles are showing up. Is he creating an army of turtles or trying to start an army? They think bro's a Disney princess. I saw something moving while eating my takeaway. No, let me correct you on that. Your takeaway is about to walk away. So these things are called pea crabs and they're found in oysters. And yes, when people see them, sometimes they eat them. They consider those things a delicacy. Ooh, ooh. brother, ooh. I'm trying to figure out brother, what kind of, ooh. what is that? Don't What's save that? it. That thing's huge, man. What did bro do? Like, who are you talking about? Oh. Well, obviously he's the teacher since they're in a school of fish. Or maybe bro farted. Hundreds of birds suddenly fell from the sky. And I suddenly lost hundreds of brain cells. Bruh. What? He mentions birds are falling from the sky, but really what happens is birds are landing and taking off really quickly. Kind of like you do in my videos. You show up and you leave quickly. Please stay to the end of this video and don't fly away. Now this is ice skating. What? Although my brain can't quite figure out what the heck is really happening, it's still cool. I would go ice skating on that. Or would I? Look at this thing creeping out like an old man in a dark alley. He looks kind of freaky. Okay. Anyway, giant salamanders are considered living fossils since they've been around for over 107 million years. Nope, I'm not that old. Ooh, bro, what is that? Ooh. AI is getting out of hand. It looks like a giant salamander. Have you heard of Omar Odavi? No, but I heard of your mom, but please continue. I'm guessing there's at least 250 fish there around him. More like 250,000, bro. He must be Aquaman, and I must be Mosquito Man since I attract about 250,000 mosquitoes. Bruh. Did she completely lose her mind? I mean, honestly though, that's probably the safest place to be near an alligator. They won't attack when you're underneath them. They have sensors on their noses, and that's usually when they're attacked. 
Look at this cute little guy. Axolotls are also called smiling salamanders, and they're about to go extinct in a while, but they do thrive in aquariums. And did you know if they lose limbs, they can regenerate them, and they can even regenerate their brain and their head? Not if you cut the whole thing off, but parts of it. I wish some Twitter users would regenerate their heads. Who is this? From the looks of it, it looks like an old man. Not me. Either. Wait, what is that? That's kind of freaky. Wait, is this that thing called Dobby from Harry Potter? Why does it look so real? Is he gonna open his eyes? Yo, why does bro have more hair than me? I mean, then look at this thing. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's called a Watusi bull, and they have massive horns, and they can get over to eight feet long. But, I mean, look at this thing. Why does that thing look like it have an eagle egg, though? This is an uh, invisibility shield, so check this out. Okay. Are you gonna, is it just a video trick? <gasps> what? How cool is that? Yeah. Hot and Teak is never gonna be the same, bro. This man was struggling in the water, and this elephant came to save his life. I mean, by the looks of it, bro could have saved that elephant some calories, because he could have just stood up in the water. No! What in the world? This mandrel's ready to throw hands. I bet it'll still be more entertaining than a Jake Paul fight, though. Mandrels are some of the largest monkeys, and they can weigh up to 80 pounds. What in the Australia outback would you put a shrimp on the Barbie as this? What would you do if you saw a spider like that in your room? I'd scream and run like a little girl. The things I do for you guys. There's something on the surface it? just up Is that here. a banana? Whoa. Bro just casually paddles up to snake. it too. Whoa, hey fella. How you going? Hey, you can't Whoa, talk about that snake like that. You might hurt man. his feelings. Zookeeper annoying Moo Ding. That's how I annoy my wife. So this is Moo Ding, which is a baby hippo. And look at all mad moisturized. Look at this thing. They do this to help hippos later on in life become used to humans so they're not all aggressive. I mean, dang, bro, look at Moodine's mama. She don't miss a meal, though, huh? Check this out. So we got monkey hats now? Is this gonna be a new trend on TikTok? I wanna sing in monkey hat. What is that? Is this some type of magic marker? How does this even work? Wait, can that thing give me hair? Check this out, guys. These zookeepers are doing something amazing here. So this little zebra is struggling in the waters. You can check it out in this video. They're trying to save the zebra without upsetting the mama. Zebras are very aggressive and you have to be very careful. They do eventually save the baby and now it can grow up to be a mean striped donkey on steroids. Oh, uh -huh. when you listen to Google Map for directions. I'd say Siri, but she doesn't even work half the time. I mean, hey bro, you can't park there. You can't park there. This man built a boat disguised as a rock. It's true, although it's pretty hard to believe. So what do you guys think? What should be the next invention on water? Let me know in the comments. What? Even this monkey is living a better life than me. Man, he must be a YouTuber and got a Lambo. They're about to give Curious George some serious driver lessons. Curious George just called me broken 17 different languages. Well, this emu's got the zoomies. I'm fastest boy. Still fastest boy. Come get some. <laughs> this makes me wonder if dinosaurs had the zoomies. Did you know emus can run up to 30 miles an hour? I'm fastest boy. Still fastest boy. Come get some. <laughs> Are these zoomies contagious now? This is me when someone tells me, don't freak out, there's a bug on you. Oh, look at Garfield. Are, where all of your friends uh. are eating nice <gasps> chicken. <laughs> look at him. At least that cat got his priorities straight. He's sticking with his color. I wonder if that kitty cat's gonna have Cheeto fingers after and lick him. I accidentally turned on Snapchat filter with, oh my God. I thought that baby was an awesome to win. Anyway, that's my honest reaction when I see myself first thing in the morning. People nowadays are always trying to get attention. Why are they doing this in an airport? Row, row, row your boat gently down the runway. I'm sorry. She forgot this wasn't Dairy Queen. Oh. Why do they have so much water? That's a lot of water. Who's that thirsty? What did they do? Well, that car just became a bathtub. Whoa! The Earth just ate Taco Bell with spicy sauce. So guys, this is a Sacajuru volcano, and I don't know how to say it, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was funny and cool. So you're telling me you believe the Megalodon is not extinct and actually still out there? Brother, I don't just believe it. Source, trust me, bro. So do you think that the Megalodon still exists? A lot of people do. Let me know in the comments if you do. And you might want to check this video out, this video out to learn more. And by the way, don't forget, I made this t-shirt for you. 
I thought it's pretty cool. Y'all gave me the idea, so you should go check it out. You ready to go swimming?